going on YouTube it's your boy 100 grand Nate and today I will be talking to you about why if you're a first-time manual driver and want to own a manual vehicle why the FL5 Honda Civic Type R is the vehicle that you should get I know a lot of uh, people when they think about manual they think about the manual gearbox they get intimidated by it right they don't feel like it's something that they'll be able to do something that they'll be able to accomplish but me myself if y'all been with the channel for a while y'all know my first manual vehicle was a camaro z011 le and i traded that car in for this car and i'm going to tell you guys today why you should have no worries about making this your first manual vehicle and if you like cars like this these yeah we got the fl5 and we got the mark 5 um supra if you like cars like these go ahead and subscribe to the moc that's me race car friends q to chaotic and blueprint one le we back outside and if you need some merch it won't hurt 100gangclothing.com let's go guys what a beautiful day it is and you are thinking about purchasing your first manual vehicle me i personally will recommend the fl5 honda civic type r and first things first if you're a first time manual driver i just want to let you know do not fear the third pedal do not fear the gear shifter with all these numbers on it and a letter at the R at the end or at the beginning depending on how it's set up do not fear it right um if you've been with the channel for a while y'all you guys know that I bought a ZL1 1LE and I didn't even know how to drive manual I bought it a manual $80,000 car didn't know how to drive it all right it looks like we got a ambulance situation god i hope they take care of them and they you know have a great situation but first car I bought was a manual gearbox eighty thousand dollar zl11 le straight out the box right and i had watched a little bit of tutorials on youtube and had a couple friends give me tips here and there on how to you know move it around but it's nothing like actually do, doing excuse me it actually doing the real thing and the Z01 is a big old beast. It's a lot of power, 650 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of power for your first manual vehicle, right? Um, the Tremec transmission, I guess that's what a gearbox was built by, was very good in that vehicle, right? It's probably the best gearbox I've had besides the FL5 Honda Civic Type R. But what makes the FL5 Honda Civic Type R, the best choice for your first manual vehicle is the fact that it's easy to drive. Like these days, it has so much technology in these vehicles. You don't have to fear about not knowing what you're doing behind the wheel because most of these cars are gonna do it for you. Like in terms of the FL5, right? You know, you, in the old school vehicles, you had to hill toe, you had to do all these other things. And in the FL5, it automatically does all that stuff for you. So as long as you know how to go through the box, you're pretty good. And the car has so much technology that it's very hard to stall out. And even if you do stall out, it's easy to pick it back up and get going. You know, I know for myself, when I first, you know, got the manual, I was like, bro, the first reason I got the manual anyway was because I always kept seeing memes on um, Facebook and Instagram about how if your girlfriend's dating you and you don't know how to drive a manual, she don't have a boyfriend, she got a girlfriend. So me, I'm like, bro, oh, hell no. Like, I can't be out here not knowing how to drive something. And I always felt like it was cool. Like I had a friend named George, He had always, all his cars was always manual. And I always see him like shifting when he driving. I'm like, bro, is that fun? And I would ask him, he'd be like, yeah, man, it makes you more engaged to the car and you just feel connected, you feel this one, and stuff like that. You know, George G, well, he wow. So that's how he be talking. And I was like, man, could, driving experience really get better than it already is it's like yeah man yeah you just gotta learn it man you gotta and you know g was one of those people that i actually asked for tips from he told me some certain things about you know driving and he was like you know take it take it to an empty parking lot and you know stay on a flat surface so you don't roll back and that's where you practice and you know giving me tips and stuff like that and i started to drive manual and eventually getting that Z011 LE led me to become part of the MOC with race car friends, QD Chaotic, Blueprint 1 LE. Subscribe to those guys uh, if you haven't. But being in the car community, when people see you with a manual vehicle, 
it's a higher respect you know you get more respect for knowing how to drive manual you're seen as a true driver and it's a different experience and one thing i like about having a manual vehicle is it makes you a safer driver like you know a lot of us i know i myself i was I, you know i was guilty of texting or driving and when you were in a manual vehicle i mean once you get to a certain level you can do it but it's not really advised because you have to be watching your gears you got to be watching the playing field out here when you're driving because you might have to make a sudden movement you know somebody might hop out on you somebody you know might you know you might have to downshift and pick up speed real quick it's a lot of different things a lot of different scenarios that can happen and so in my opinion when we talk about the ff5 honda Civic type r we talk about any manual vehicle talking about something that's going to make you a safer driver and um i feel like the ff5 sits right there in that sweet spot where it's not too powerful for you like the z011 le that's 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 a very powerful car to have for your first and it's not something that don't have no power at all so it's not like uh prius you know what i'm saying so it's going to give you that sweet spot where it's like bro it's still fast enough and you're gonna be able to enjoy yourself and roll through the gears for example right when i had my z011 le after you get out of second gear you're done now the same could be said for the type r because the type r is fast but what i'm saying is like you can drive at a higher rpm because the gearing ratio is different the z011 le is made for more speed so you're gonna be logging the gears and third trying to go slow that car wants to eat it wants to go fast this car right here i'm in third and i'm still i'm you know 3500 rpms i'm at 40 something miles an hour so it wants to let you be able to go through the city and drive through the gears so it's a very 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 it's a very 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 unique vehicle in the fact that it's fast not over the top fast it has amazing handling probably the best handling car i've ever owned even over the z011 le and it's practical you know it's affordable um the insurance crisis rates i'm not gonna go crazy on that z011 le you're gonna pay a lot of insurance you know on this you know your insurance is gonna be normal because they see it as a normal civic and it's an iconic car it's just i feel like it's the first if you if it's your first manual vehicle man it's gonna be amazing for you and you're gonna be able to learn, pick up. You're gonna automatically be inserted into the car community because people are gonna see you with the FL5 and they're gonna wanna have conversations with you. They're gonna wanna stop you, wave you, ask you questions. You know, it's just to me, if I was a manual, first time manual driver again and I had to do it all over again, I would have started with the FL5 Honda Civic Type R over my Z011 LE. I feel like the Z011 LE is something that you graduate to, you know, but I was started with this, you know. And the reason I say that, because it, it handles so well, the traction is so well that you don't have to worry about having an accident. You don't have to worry about the small things. And the Z01 LE, the back end will come out on you. You know, and if you don't know how to handle that power, power you're going to crash, as I did, <laughs> twice. You know what I'm saying? So this FL5, man, it's going to have all the technology that you need. It's going to have all the different modes that you need, all the practicality that you need, all the information that you need. You know, you got the Honda Log R. You got so many different features in here that's gonna help you and aid you in driving this car. So if you are on the fence about getting your first manual vehicle and you're thinking about which vehicle you should go for first, I wanna go out there and stand on something and say, go ahead, get the FL5 Honda 7 Type R. Make that your first one. And then come back in the comments and tell me what you thought or what you think. Because I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. It's a great vehicle, period. You know, this car is so good, I don't even drive automatics, but it's so good that I will consider it. But I'm so happy that it came with manual, and I'm so happy that it only comes with manual. And that's the thing, this right here is, it's like a stamp for your, for your, for your stain, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to get, people see you in the FF5, they know it's manual. Like, whoever's driving that car knows how to drive manual. I don't care if you all tinted out like me. If you in the FF5, they know that you know how to drive manual. And that's, that's one of the coolest part about it. You know, it's just, it's a, it's a badge of honor. Cause it ain't too many of us left you know save the manuals man they, they're taking them away every day you know every day we see something else but they're taking away v8 so they're taking away manuals like i hate it but you know unfortunately i just seem like the world is moving towards ev or whatever the hell we're doing i don't know but uh if you have any doubts about getting this fl5 have no more <laughs> don't let them linger anymore go ahead and get it out i'm gonna let you know this is the first manual vehicle that you want to get. It's perfect. And I don't say that about much of anything. This car right here is the closest thing to perfection. 
Y'all get in the comments, y'all let me know. Everybody that owns the FL5, y'all get in the comments and let the people know what y'all think about y'all experience. Would you recommend it for y'all first manual vehicle? Tell me what y'all think, because I love hearing what y'all think. Y'all go down there, y'all tell me what y'all think, and it gives me a better perspective. And I be learning so much when y'all get down in the comments and y'all say stuff, y'all tell me different things. I learn so much from you guys. So with that being said, man, y'all get in them comments. Let's go. So guys, just did a run with this car. It was pretty even, but I got I got beat. He got a K swap on his. You know, we still completely swap. But man, that little thing right there can run. Yes, yeah, sir. So guys, the FL5 is completely outside. And if you're thinking about it for your first manual vehicle, I definitely say it's a go. But you know, you might feel different from me. So like I said before, go ahead and get in the comments and let me know how you exactly feel about it. I think it's perfect. It's fast, it's practical, it has a lot of technology in it, so it's easy, automatic downshifts, a lot of things going on for you that's in your favor. So if you're a first time manual driver, don't be scared of the H. Well, at least that's what I thought it looked like when I first got into the manual vehicle. But other words, we are outside. If you like cars like these, go ahead and subscribe to the MOC. That's me, Race Car Friends, QD Chaotic, and Blueprint 1 LE. If you need some merch, it won't hurt. Well, Hit that subscribe button. We back outside. Let's go. Cool.